I did a caveat first of all um, that the opinion polling in Kenya is not objective. Very is that subjective. because it paints you, it doesn't give you a lot of... No, 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 please. Mm -hmm. We must admit facts. You are not entitled to your set of facts. True. So we must admit that the opinion polling companies in Kenya are not objective, they are not well established, they don't announce who has commissioned them, and therefore their results are suspect. So to that extent, I agree with the complainants that the so-called 5% may be mythical rather than factual so but translate say that before you continue sir translate, yes. are you saying that there's a possibility that dr kuro court or michael wainaina or mm. cyrus jirongo mm. has more than five percent support within that, kenyans that, that's, in this presidential that's race that's what i'm saying because you are making conclusions based on myths you have not done a scientific poll that have established that they don't have five percent that is why the I, media commission i prefer poll to deal with objective scientific facts. And the fact is, the opinion polling companies in Kenya are not independent, are not unbiased, and are not scientific. They are manipulated all the time. Infotrack sits somewhere at a corner and produces their results, for example. We don't know that and for so sure. Are, I know that. They say they use telephone sampling, but listen, they use all different can, methods, can the same for I can and all go, the others. I can go around this table and I can guarantee you that none of you have been called by any of these polling companies and you are not less than 30. But that doesn't understand me, how random sampling works. I have done, listen, I've interrogated some of these companies and in 207 I actually scientifically proven, and I'm not going to get into that, that they were cooking up polls. Gentlemen, and I know that when you commission them, ah, you can design them. questions mm -hmm. that will give different results. So having said that, so I don't want um, a, an assumption that the opinion polls are ironclad and that whatever they, 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 they publish is the truth, that that is what the country is thinking. Even their sampling is too small. Somebody samples 500 people and say that represents uh, 19 million Kenyans. That's just scientifically flawed. Having said that, I personally believe that uh, the group of six, yes. they are losing uh, a very valuable opportunity to be able to demonstrate to Kenyans <laughs> what vision they have for Kenya, what policies they have for Kenya, what programs they have for Kenya, and why each one of them is better than the other, or better than President Uhuru Kenyatta. It's not good enough to say that the media, the, the, is it media debate or debate media, media limited, yes. limited uh, has staggered the debate and therefore it, it is unfair. Even when, I mean, and these people did exams, <laughs> most of them in the Republic of Kenya, there was a timetable that was released by the Examination Council. And maybe they said, we start with history, then we end with maths. You didn't say, I'm not starting that exam until maths is the first uh, examinable <laughs> subject. And I'm not doing it until the investigator is Mr. Uh, Mr. Kamau. No, you went there, the papers were presented, you wrote them, you didn't know who the examiners are, you accepted the results. We must come to a point where we are governable. Mm -hmm. We have to be a governable society mm -hmm. that accepts the rules. speaker agrees with yeah. you very, very yeah. vehemently. A very rare occasion. <laughs> <laughs> it is wonderful to see the two of you getting along. <laughs> <laughs>